Um, some of the most popular uh, e-petitions on the government website at the moment uh, regard the situation in Israel and Gaza, and following the UN Security Council's resolution to call for an immediate ceasefire, uh, what steps will the UK government be doing to ensure that that is implemented in terms of using economic and diplomatic levers? Yes, well, uh, we were pleased to support the resolution at the UN because it uh, was consistent with our position, which is for a an immediate sustained humanitarian pause which would allow for the safe release of hostages, more aid into Gaza and provide the, um, I guess, a platform for a more lasting, durable ceasefire. Yeah, yeah, we will continue to do everything we can, both um, ask uh, and Israel at all levels to comply with international humanitarian law to improve the provision of humanitarian aid into Gaza, but also continue to call on Hamas and work with countries like Egypt and Qatar to unconditionally release the hostages. Yes, uh, I think the first thing to say is we're absolutely appalled by the allegations of UNRWA staff uh, being involved in the 7th of October attack. Uh, we are committed to getting aid into Gaza. Um, our decision to pause funding to UNRWA hasn't had any impact on our overall uh, contribution to the humanitarian response. It's important that people know that. Um, so the UN's Office of Internal Oversight and also Catherine uh, Colonna have now provided their interim reports to the UN Secretary General. Uh, we want to hear from UNRWA detailed un un undertakings about the changes in personnel and policy, and we're talking consistently to allies about how to conclude all of that um, because I don't disagree UNRWA properly functioning does have a vital role to play in providing aid and services in Gaza but it is right that we now reflect on the reports on governance that have been provided and work that through with allies and that's what we're doing and our, our position is consistent with uh, as I said many of our closest allies. And, and will the decision Thank be in you. days or months? Just finally, um, are we expecting a decision in days or months? Uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't like to speculate. I mean, uh, hopefully, not. Uh, we, we're all keen to get more aid in as quickly as possible, and that's what we're doing. But given the uh, appalling allegations, it's right that those are addressed seriously. A very brief follow-on on Gaza from Thank, Stephen thank you, Chair. How is, how is Prime Minister? How is a ceasefire resolution that contains not a word of condemnation of Hamas? or any conditionality around hostage release consistent with our previous position and the language you've previously used about Hamas being yes, evil and needing to see them militarily defeated? Yes, look, I, I can appreciate uh, concern on that point. I can very much appreciate that. And as I said, it, it, it is close to our position. It's not a perfect replication of it um, on Hamas in particular. And I think, as, as you know, I've been unequivocal and consistent in condemning Hamas and we will always do that. Um, on hostages though, you know, the way that I read the resolution and the way I think it should be read is that it does recall that the taking of hostages is obviously prohibited under international law and it also demands the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages and that was important. You know, this is not an unconditional ceasefire, this is a temporary pause which is consistent with our position alongside the, as I said, in the words of the resolution, immediate and unconditional release of all hostages and as well as ensuring that more humanitarian access and aid can flow in. That has been, I think you'd agree, my consistent <coughs> position on this and that's why I felt that the wording and the Foreign Secretary felt that the wording was, that whilst not perfect, it, you know, close enough to our position that we should support it. I'm disappointed to see some reporting last night uh, that Hamas already saying that they're not engaging in conversations around hostage release, which tells you what the problem is. Um, you know, that it can't be right for hostages. No for them. It, it can't be right for hostages to be held like that, and it is reasonable for Israel to want to ensure its security and the safe return of its citizens, which is why we've always said this immediate temporary humanitarian pause needs to be accompanied by the unconditional release of the hostages so that we can then get more aid in. And unfortunately, um, you know, Hamas have, have not complied with that and they're the ones that are responsible and we should never lose sight of that.